have the stunning Laurel with me today. Thank you for joining us. Laurel has beautiful blue eyes. And I think um, this palette by MAC, which is called the Flamboyant palette, what I love about this palette is it's got a lot of the warm, rusty brown tones, which everyone or most people know how to use at home. And then it's got these pinky shades that not always are quite easy to use. So we're gonna have some fun, play with Laurel's blue eyes with this pink, smoky undertone. A little trick that I like to do is actually use, um, when you're doing a color block like this, um, a lippy that you know has the perfect undertone as your base. It's just a really simple, easy way to add that color fast and quickly and then build upon it with your um, eyeshadow palettes. This one in particular is called Matte Candy Yum Yum. So I'm just getting a MAC 2175 brush and buffing that in to the center of the lid, like so, just buff it right in and don't be scared to build it up. To the center of the lid and then to elongate the eyes. If you just open your eyes, when you're doing this at home, it's really important to basically keep your eyes open and just look straight at a mirror in front of you and you'll be able to see. It's okay if you make a mistake. Here, I've gone a little bit lower. I will fix that at the end. So if you just keep looking forward and buffing it in, blending, and I think it's really important to, like I said, elongate the eyes rather than just sticking to the center of the eye. She has amazing shape. Um, and I think that's where a lot of people, if you just look down again, my love, go wrong. So we're just going to do that as our base. And as you can see, it's very fast and a great way to build color. And the next step that's really important that a lot of people forget is to actually go underneath the eye. People get scared, I think, um, to, to also add eyeshadow. And it doesn't mean or in this um, say lipstick. It doesn't mean that you're going to have darkness or anything like that. It just almost shapes your eye how, and, and, and gives more depth to the eye when you're doing something like a block color like this. So I've gone back in, I've applied it just really close to the lash line. And then because we want it really blown out, don't be scared to go in there and really basically mess it up a little and connect it to the top and the outer corners. And once again, doing all this while you've got your eyes open and looking forward. So now we've totally blended the cream um, lipstick base, which is great because it just melts into your foundation. Um, however, when you're wanting for it to last all day at work or all day at night, wherever you're wearing this amazing pink smoky eye, um, it's really important to set it with a powder. So the shade that I'm going to use from this amazing um, palette is the Love at First Sight, which we're just going to pop um, basically in the inner corners and near the lash line with the same brush. So it all just kind of melts into each other. And I'm just gonna be quite heavy handed in the corners. Um, and if you just open your eyes, keep them opened. Mm -hmm. When applying this, you can then go back in. It just gives a little bit of depth to the eye and sets that cream in the areas that it would tend to crease. Um, feel free with this to take it as high as you want, just depending how much you want to emphasize the eye. And I'm going to also do the same at the bottom. So now that we've got the pink wash set with the powder over the eye, I'm gonna go in with what's the pointillism just here and really bring out the inner corner here to add that little bit of highlight. I like to first pop it with a little brush and then press it with my finger um, to really bring it in. And this is just to bring forward any part of the eye. It really adds that little bit of highlight. And I think it's quite important to to also um, take a step back after you've done a look like this and see where you want to add any depth or where you want to take any away. So what I'm going to do also is add a little bit of depth with this more mauvey purple tone, which is called Everyone's Darling, just on the socket line and a little bit in the um, eye here. So we'll just add that, I'm just bringing it right in. And it's really up to you how much you want to make that eye more dramatic or less dramatic, depend it's nighttime or whether it's more of just a day and you're just doing a pink with pink smoky eye with you know a basic white t-shirt. It all depends on your outfit and complementing that, but it just shows that you can have fun with colour and um, those those parts of your palette that you aren't using. This is a simple, easy, effective way to add it to your everyday makeup.
A key part of this smoky eye, which is really becomes your best friend, is concealer. So what I use concealer, or what I call it, is really basically an eraser. So when you go in and you want to clean up that eye, it's really, I've got a bit of concealer here, which I'm just going to go in and get that exact shape. And it basically just cleans up the eye and also makes that colour pop even more. So I just tend to do that around the shadow and I'll do it to the other side also. It's great with just finishing off the eye with that and it really is your best friend. I'm just gonna go in with a MAC concealer pencil and the great thing about this is it's a nude eyeliner on the waterline rather than the traditional white that people used to use. Um, the great thing with nude is it's more like your skin color and it just opens the eye and also it's a great way. I mean, it changes the whole look once you add that. It's a great way um, to open the eye up with color. Now I'm just going to mascara the um, eyelashes with the MAC Extended Play Black. It's really important to give the lashes a good curl. It opens up the whole eye and I normally do it in three parts, right at the root, the middle, and then at the very tip. Middle and tip. And it's always that action with your wrist. That's how you get the best curl. So I'm just gonna go straight on with the mascara one. It's a brand new mascara. Just get right from the roots all the way up to the ends. And really spend time mascaring for this look in particular because it is a color block um, eye. It's really important to get every lash. The great thing about this MAC mascara also is it never clumps. So I love using that. So for this soft, pink, romantic, smoky eye, um, I think a great finishing touch, if you can walk out the house just like this, or if you want to add a little bit more drama to it all, you can go in with a liquid eye pencil and add that perfect flick. So the key when applying liquid liners, if you just look down Laurel, um, it's always about small motions and placing it on the eye like so, in small, motions like this. When you're wanting to apply to the inner part of the eye, you just turn it, it's all in the wrist action. So you actually turn the pen around and you face it inwards, looking down in really light, small motions like so. So if you were doing this at home, you just look at the mirror directly in front of you. And what we want to do is we've already connected from Laurel's inner corner to the eye. If you're going to continue and flick that, Rather than following the top of the eye, we are following the bottom part of the eye and connecting it upwards. So one thing that's amazing with Max product is they have the Prep and Prime Fix Spray. I think it's a great way after you've done a um, look like this with the eye palette is to just spray all over the face. This is our finished look on L'Oreal. I think that the MAC Flamboyant palette is the perfect palette to use to create that pink um, smoky eye that complements blue eyes and hopefully everyone can give it a try at home.